Hello, participants of the Water and Health Conference 2022. Thank you for taking a moment to recognise the recent passing of Mark Pascoe. My name is Regina Souter, and I worked alongside Mark at the International Water Centre. He was also my friend. Mark was the founding CEO of International Water Centre, which was a first of its kind centre in Australia, bringing together researchers, professionals and practitioners from across academia and industry to work collaboratively. As our leader, Mark's focus on the people side of the water sector influence on our cultural ways of working. He was always encouraging and seeking out collaborations across institutions and disciplines and influencing it to be transparent and genuine. Mark encouraged authentic partnerships where everyone has a voice and value to gain. I think Mark innately had a love of supporting people to develop their skills, knowledge and experience, but I suspect this was reinforced by Mark's long career in bridging organisations. Before the International Water Centre, Mark was Deputy Director of the International Water Association and President of the Australian Water Association. So although Mark was trained as a water chemist and had managed the water and sanitation services of Brisbane's utility, he spent most of his career in organisations that championed and facilitated cooperation for sustainable development and water management. Mark often talked about the challenges we have in solving the complex water problems we face, but that he believed that if we pulled together across disciplines and institutions, we can make a positive change to the water lives of many people and the environment. Following Mark's passing, we have received many, many heartfelt messages of sadness and loss from people at all levels of organisations. Mark, it seems, had a gift for not only bringing people together in the spirit of collaboration, but for going out of his way to offer kindness and support to those in the water sector seeking to make a positive change. Although the loss of Mark is deeply felt by many of us in the water sector, he leaves us an important legacy of optimism, genuine collaboration and support for our colleagues. If he were here, Mark would ask you to take this opportunity of having coming, come together at the Water and Health Conference to find more ways and more opportunities to work together, to have new conversations and form new ideas to improve our water world. Vale, Mark Pascoe.